and uh, we are so, so glad that you will join us for yet another week. My name is Madenge Maina. I have been with you throughout the weeks, and I am so, so grateful that this week will be our final parable. Actually, today we will be airing the final episode on the parables. However, we will take a short break, perhaps of uh, two weeks, and then we will come back with another season where we will have something else we are looking at. Uh, remember, the, uh, this show is called What Does the Bible Say? So we are not just concentrating on the parables, but we will be looking at something else as we go on. And we know that God will continue to inspire us into faithfulness and actually build us into Christ-likeness through the next season that we will be airing. My prayer for you guys would be that uh, please watch the other videos. If you have any feedback you would like to give us, uh, perhaps something that has really built you up, perhaps something that you would like us to look into, or even a suggestion on what you would want us or to hear us cover in the coming days, please uh, put it down there on the comments or just uh, reach out to us. We are more than willing to hear from you guys. So as you guys remember, from the last two weeks, we have been looking at the parables of the futuristic kingdom of Christ. And we started by saying that the parables begin with the kingdom of God will be like. And today we are looking at yet another parable that looks into the future and helps us to be prepared for the coming of Christ. Uh, today, so we dive to Luke chapter 12, and we'll start from verse 40, uh, 41 and go all the way to verse 48. Um, one other thing that I would really request you guys to do with us and for us mm -hmm. is to pray. That you guys just take your time. If you have been listening to these videos and they've been of help to you, that you can pray for us sincerely. That myself and my brother David, we would be refreshed for the coming season and many other days of uh, doing this production. And that God will continue to use these videos to reach out to many other people who need to hear the gospel of God uh, mm -hmm. preached through this platform. Great. So allow me to read and yeah. go directly to Luke chapter 12. Mm -hmm. If you are there already, let us begin together from verse 41. We will look at that and then do our study, uh, normal study. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 12, verse 41. And the Bible says, Peter asked, Lord, are you telling this parable to us or to everyone? And the Lord answered, Who then is the faithful and wise manager whom the master puts in charge of his servants to give them food, to give them their food allowance at the proper time? It, is, it will be good for that servant who the master finds doing so when he returns. I tell you the truth. He will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose the servant says to himself, my master is taking a long time in coming. And then, uh, and he then begins to beat the men servants and maid servants and to eat and drink and get drunk. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him. And an hour when he is not aware of, he will cut him to pieces and assign, his, uh, and assign him a place with the unbelievers. Verse 47. That servant who knows his master's will and does not get ready and does not do what the master wants will be beaten with many blows. But the master, uh, but the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. For everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much will be asked. And that is God's word. And praise be to God. Praise be to God indeed. Yeah. All right. Uh, Bona David. Yes. Tafadali, karibu and uh, take us through the context uh, so that we may look at uh, what is the prevailing context of yeah. this verse. Interesting. Uh, thanks, Pastor Madenge, for this opportunity. Um, again, what we see is that we see, verse 41 starts a question. Uh, yeah. Peter asking a question and the whole verses that follow thereafter is Jesus responding to this 
question. question from Peter. Um, Jesus has spoken to many crowds in mm. chapter 12 from verses 1. Yep. He's speaking to many crowds. Verses 22, chapter 12, we see, then the disciples said, to, then Jesus said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your mm. body, what you will wear. Oh, so we see him again, going, going that specifically. specifically to the disciples. Yeah. And again, we f follow through to verses 35. Yeah. And Christ speaks about being ready, getting dressed, yeah. um, waiting for the coming of a master yeah. in a wedding banquet. Giving another analogy of um, the coming of Jesus would be likened to a thief. Yeah. Uh, and him pressing the point that you should be ready. Yes, at all times. At all times. Yeah. And Peter is there wondering, okay, are you speaking to us as or disciples to or to everyone? Yeah. And that sets the stage. So we see yes. Jesus responding to Peter's question yeah. and addressing specifically the disciples um, yes. in, this, in, in, this this, in this parable. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. All right, so let us dive deep then and see mm. what then does the Lord answer and yeah. is he giving a direct answer in mm. this or is he going to yeah. uh, generally mm. give an answer in a general sense? So yeah. let's go to the observation. Yeah. And I think uh, one of the things that uh, for the last three, uh, two parables we've been doing mm. on these futuristic parables is just looking at uh, the characters of the story yeah. and the times uh, that the, the master seasons. is, uh, the, yeah, that are being mentioned here mm -hmm. the seasons and then after the coming of the master the second time yeah what happens or rather mm. uh, uh, there's the issue of judgment mm. i think uh, two weeks ago when we were talking about the parable of the talents yeah. we looked at a similar mm. situation to yeah. what we have here yeah. so let's start with the characters yeah and interestingly three color characters remain yeah the master is always a constant we yes. have been uh, talking about <laughs> the master, master. The master. Well, yes yeah. so the master is a constant yeah he is gone mm -hmm. and at the time of his going yeah. he introduces a very important character as well the manager the manager yeah he says over this household mm -hmm. there are many servants mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, many of those households where a master was rich and had a big uh, mm. uh, household and and yes, yeah. would have maybe, let's even talk about a hundred mm. uh, servants who are serving. Yeah. So he would appoint one of the servants mm. to become head servant. Mm. Chief. Uh, chief, <laughs> uh, chief servant, who is yeah. supposed to serve the others. That is yeah. the guy we are calling the manager here. Yeah. So uh, the characters, mm. starting with the master, yeah. and then now we go to the manager who is the chief servant, mm. and he's given a very specific responsibility mm. and he's told your responsibility over this household mm. is to take care of these other servants yeah that you are required to give them and apportion them food at the proper, at the proper time. time so when you, uh, you would figuratively look at that even in our day mm. there is always one guy who is yeah. supposed to be uh, taking care of the affairs of the others. Yeah. So yeah. the others are serving, they are continuing yeah. the work of service, mm. but someone is being given responsibility over them to make sure that they are well provided mm. for at any given time. Yeah. So I see the manager, mm. and then, of course, finally, yeah. the servants. The servants, the servants who, are who are working. Yeah. Yeah. And we, uh, nothing much is uh, told of them, mm. but we are expecting that they are doing their work diligently, yeah. uh, and they expect to receive Mm. From the manager, yeah. they are apportioned uh, food. food at the proper at time. The proper time <laughs> because the master yeah. cares about them yeah. and has left this guy to mm. actually distribute uh, the, Resources. The, the food to them yeah. at the proper time. That, that's so, really yeah. interesting. The other thing also we see is the time. Um, yes. We see the master is present. Yeah. Um, he was in charge, mm. has been in charge, will always yes. be in charge. But again, he goes ahead it to... It is his household. It is his... Ha he, yeah. he, he, he owns the whole place. Yes. He takes this break and goes away. Mm. And because he's a very, very um, responsible master yeah. and he knows he has servants, he gives um, a manager. A manager. Mm. And what we see is that the other observation we see Jesus giving us two outcomes yeah. of uh, managers here. There is yes. one who is faithful and wise, yeah. who ends up to fulfill the good um, intentions of the master. Yes. He serves the servants, yeah. he gives them their portion food at the proper, proper time, time, and he does that which yeah. um, he's ex is expected to do yeah. as, ma as the master is a far way off. Yeah. Then we see this um, second manager yeah. who decides to take things in his, on his, own, yeah. in his own hands. He goes ahead to eat, to drink, mistreat the servants, mi actually beats them, them up. <laughs> he beats them up. <laughs> he feels like he's in charge guy. just because the master went. He yeah takes the, 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 the arms of power yes. and commits 
all manner of atrocities to his servants. Yeah. And again, we see the second, the other timing is when the master comes back. When the master returns. Yeah, when the master returns. Yeah. And so he these called, atrocities are where the servants are being done during the time he's away. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So then he comes back. Then he comes back. Yeah. Then when he comes back, we see him not coming as a lenient master, giving responsibilities. Mm -hmm. He comes back as a judge. Yeah. Putting to account and asking the manager, I expected you to do this. We're doing a BCD. Did you do that which yeah. I expected of you? Yeah. Or did you go ahead and squandered and use the resources that I gave you and use the power that I gave you? Yeah. Not only mm. to gain um, for selfish gain, yes. but also to load it over the servants that I gave you. Yeah. So we, we see those three timings. Uh, the first one being when the master is around, when the master is away, and the managers choose to be either faithful and wise or, or unfaithful and foolish. Yeah. And the last time we see the master coming back. Coming to judge and yeah. to call them to account. Yeah. Wow, that, uh, that's great to see there. Mm. And maybe as you talked about judgment, during yeah. the time of judgment, we yeah. see different kinds of judgment. Yeah. And you talk yeah. about the first guy who is faithful, a faithful mm. servant, or the faithful manager, yeah. the one who Jesus says, who is this faithful? Mm. He says, it will be good for that master if he does, yeah. uh, or that manager if he does what uh, mm. is expected yeah. of him. Yeah. Because at the coming of the master, he is given Many mm. more possessions. Look at the yeah. verse 44. Mm. I tell you the truth. He will put him in charge of all his possessions. Yeah. So that's the first uh, kind of judgment yeah. you see there. Yeah. And then the second kind of judgment, you see this guy, unfaithful guy, mm. who decides, uh, guess what? My master yes. is gone a long time. I can do whatever yeah. I want. Yeah. And he says, uh, verse 46, the master mm. will come at a day when, when he, he does, does not, not expect him, him, an hour when he's not aware. Mm. He will cut him. Into pieces, into pieces and mm. assign him a place with the unbelievers. Yeah. So this is the second master, the second uh, manager. Yeah. He's thrown out, mm. uh, cut in pieces, assigned yeah. to a, a place with the unbelievers. Mm. Then Christ says something very important here. Yeah. That to all the servants now, mm. at the time of judgment, at the time of reckoning, and I think when we talked about the parable of the talents, we saw mm. this uh, as well. Yeah. That every servant is called to account yeah. individually. Yes. That you come and you are told, you, you, I gave you one talent. Yeah. What did you do with it? Mm. And here, he says that the one who is given more responsibility. Much is expected. Much is expected. Mm. As the manager. You remember the manager has been given more responsibility than the other servants. Mm. And he's told, more will be expected from you mm. than the rest. Yeah. Uh, as well as um, the one who has been given, uh, he says, uh, uh, verse 48, mm -hmm. from everyone who has been given much, much mm. will be demanded. Yeah. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, mm. more will be asked. Yeah. So yeah. there are those that everyone will be called to account mm. at the judgment end when, when the master... And is. you actually see degrees of punishment. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As well as... Mm. Uh, so you, if you are not accountable, uh, you are given more responsibility yeah. and you actually squandered uh, the responsibility, mm -hmm. more punishment. Mm. You, you, are not, uh, you are given less responsibility, yeah. less punishment. Or rather, uh, if you did... A few blows. <laughs> <laughs> a few blows than the one who had more responsibility. Yeah. So but ultimately really what we see, you you'll receive a blow. Yes. There's no, there's no excuse. Yes. If you have not done what the master wanted yeah. you to do, you will receive a blow, uh, yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I think we can yeah. go to the interpretation bit. All right. And uh, take us through this mm. issue of master, manager, and the yeah. servants. And let's see what is there. First of all, we see Jesus is responding to Peter. Yes. So, in essence, Peter is not oblivious of who Jesus was. Yes. He knows that Jesus is the Messiah. He has chosen him to be a disciple. Yes. He's working with him. Yeah. And therefore, what... Um, the, the, the illustration here is that Jesus is the master. Christ is the Definitely. master. He, yeah. is, he is the master of all Over of us. Over the household, yeah. And when, when we say that we are Christians, we acknowledge that when we call him Lord, and yes. even that verse is the time. Lord answered. Yes. There's that, the word Lord gives the, the levels. There's a master yes. and, there's, and there's, a servant. there's a servant. And yeah. therefore... Christ is saying... Christ is definitely the Lord here. Christ is definitely the Lord. Yeah. But again, when you come to the manager, uh, Peter was asking, okay, are you telling us? us. So, and, and this could be probably primarily, yeah. um, he was asking us, we the chosen the 12 the disciples. disciples. We who walk with you. Yeah, see my band of brothers. Yes. Eh? The guys in the inner circle. Yes. Does this apply to us or does it apply to, to everyone? everyone? Yeah. And now Jesus brings in this other 
second category of the manager, saying that among the servants, mm. among all the disciples that uh, who are following Christ, yeah. there are those who've been given responsibilities to take care yeah. of other servants. Yeah. And, and in this sense, these servants, these servants are still servants of True. this same same Lord. True. But again, much has been given to them. And in this very, very case, Peter, much had been given yes. to him. And the mas managers here are those who disciple, those who feed, um, who feed others directly, primarily. Yes. Th those who feed um, God's people with God's yes. word. They could be preachers, they could be teachers, they could be disciples, they could be um, parents who are discipling yes. their kids. But primarily, it's those who are given the responsibility of feeding others, of feeding, teaching others, teaching yeah. others uh, yeah. God's way. And, yeah. and in our current context, it would be preachers and yeah. pastors and yeah. teachers and yeah. uh, those who will primarily speak God's word um, yeah. with authority, with the hope that um, those who are following yeah. the servants would find food, yeah. a portion to uh, them the proper time. Uh, at a proper time. Yeah, and actually, yeah. interestingly on that, before mm. someone says, okay, then this parable is not about me because yeah. I am not I'm a not teacher <laughs> or uh, I don't yeah. teach Sunday school, yeah. I don't, uh, I, I'm not a parent, yeah. I'm not a real group leader yeah. perhaps, I'm not an elder, I'm mm. not uh, a pastor. I think there is good cause to remember yeah. that God expects all of us mm. after a certain point of growth in our faith mm. to actually become disciples of others. Yeah. yeah. That is, uh, yeah. I remember Hebrews, a rebuke is given yeah. there. It says, you ought to be teachers by now. Mm. You ought to be teaching others by yeah. now. But you are still spiritual babes or mm. children yeah. because you have refused to grow. Yeah. So God is expecting that all of us at one point mm. will grow in our faith to become yeah. managers, yeah. to become those who are teaching and yeah. teaching others yeah. with God's word. And also the other thing we see, um, we see Peter asks a question, yeah. but again, Jesus responds with a question. Yes. It would have been easy for Jesus to say, is this for you? It is for you. It could have been, yes. it could have been a very, yes. very short yeah. response. But again, we see Jesus diving in into a longer route, yeah. a, a longer route but also a deeper issue. Yes. That if much has been and given to you, you if this knowledge much. of God has been given to you, if your work of God is deeper, solid, and consistent, yes. then much is expected of is you. expected of you and and, yeah. and therefore we see the servants here in this uh, parable could be those who are under yes so the teaching care, of the others, teaching yeah. of, of others this could be i mean as a congregant yeah. in a particular church this could be you under a particular bible study yeah. this could be you under um probably parenthood or probably yes. under you are a child yes. and you have a father who is spot on teaching you god's yes. word daily and, and what we see is that the constant K here, the servants are seemingly um, doing, addressed as yeah. doing what they're expecting. The assumption is that the servants yeah, are, the doing, servants what are, they're supposed to are doing, doing what they're supposed to do. But yeah. again, Jesus' response yeah. to Peter is primarily on, um, are you doing what I expect you to do? I expect you to do. Because again, the what responsibility we, I've given you. The responsibility given to you is on the manager. Yeah. But there's something else we see in verses um, 45. But yeah. suppose the servant says to himself, Kakitu kana muambia tu, by the way. Yes. The boss went, the master left all the resources to me. Uh, why I not? I can do what I why want. Not? But say, autonomy. Let me, let me yeah. <laughs> enjoy myself. Yeah. And suppose this happens. And the, the whole point of this, again, he's referred as a servant. Yeah. So even the manager, just, be, just because he has responsibility, yeah over the servant doesn't negate the fact that he is first a servant. He himself. And, yeah. the, and the whole point of what uh, Jesus is saying is that if you are a manager, then you are a chief you are serv servant, a servant and servant. therefore you should serve diligently. You should actually serve more you should than serve load more because it over. Your responsibilities are more. Yeah. Interestingly, as we say, that everyone at one point will become a manager mm. because you will disciple someone yeah. else, yeah. whether as a parent or whether as a real group leader yeah. or whether as a BS leader mm. or whether, wh whatever God will bring you to a place of being a manager mm. where you are actually responsible for teaching others. Mm. In the same way, we are all servants yeah. who have yeah. managers of us. Yeah. Even pastors sit under the teaching of other pastors. Mm. Uh, we also join real group. I am a member of a real group mm. where someone else is the leader of the real group yeah. and I expect them to feed mm. me with the truth yeah. of God's word. So at any point, mm. I am a manager, but I'm also a, a servant, servant yeah. uh, who needs to be fed mm. by someone else. Mm. So it is interesting that this parable mm. actually puts us 
both mm. uh, in the place of a manager yeah. and both in the place of a servant. Yeah. 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 So maybe also we can look at uh, the issue of the times. Mm. Again, uh, God has been God, uh, or rather Christ has been God a long time. Mm. And we may all yeah. think that uh, the long time mm. means he will never come. Yeah. And like the foolish manager you've just mm. observed, yeah. it can get to a point where you're thinking, ah, he's yeah. been gone a long time, I mm. can do what I want. Yeah. And, and specifically for ministers of the gospel, there is a point that gets where mm. we get comfortable with uh, the message of the gospel mm. and we think we can handle the mm. business mm. of God's household mm. however we want. Mm. Then we lose accountability both to the, uh, the servants, mm. we are not serving the people well, but at the same time, we lose our, uh, accountability to our master because we are thinking he's gone a long time. Mm. And so we start mishandling uh, God's word. We are not feeding the servants at the proper time mm. and we get to a place where in our comfort, we mm. have forgotten what we were called to do mm. as managers over the household of God. Mm -hmm. It is not our household. Mm. You who is a disciple, you who is a Sunday school teacher, you who is a parent, it, this, this, uh, you have been appointed as stewards mm. of a God's household. Mm. You are expected, you have a duty to feed uh, the other servants mm. the way God has uh, told you to. Mm. And our manual is here, the Bible, mm. that when we need to know how we need to yeah. feed the people of God, the servants yeah. of God, go to the manual, mm. find uh, David eats uh, two portions of ugali, <laughs> and <laughs> make sure you give him two portions of ugali <laughs> according to the way the master prescribed. Yeah. Yeah. But... We get to a point and we think, uh, Master has been gone a long time. Mm. We can do whatever we want in the household of God. Yeah. Oh, woe to us. Mm. Because the Master comes at an expected hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at an hour we do yeah. not expect him. Yeah. And we will be mm. punished yeah. for actually not doing the work of the Master. Mm. So I think this is a big, big, big yeah. Uh, yeah. warning. Uh, it it's is. a warning it is. sign for yeah. all of us, especially... Mm. We who are disciples of others, mm. we who are teachers, we who have been given responsibility mm. to handle God's work for yeah. others. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, 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 I really mm. think the times, uh, the times there when the master is gone, mm. we need to be careful with that yeah. time. But mm. also the time of his coming, yeah. there will be no chance for us Absolutely. to say, yeah. okay, hey, master, <laughs> let me make mm. things right. Yeah. Yeah. No, there will be such a There's time. No time. He is coming at an expected hour. Mm. You will see him at the doorpost mm. and you're wondering, what do I do? Mm. Maybe you are in the middle of your drunkenness, uh, mm. as he's saying, uh, they began, yeah. they, or you are be beating you, up. You are beating <laughs> up a servant, uh, and then the master shows up, and you will be assigned yeah. a place among the unbelievers. Mm. I think this is a big warning it for is. us. Especially. It is. It is. Yeah. So I, I don't know what you think about the judgments. Maybe yeah. you can also look at that. Yeah, I think the judgments here is first of all when the master verses forty six, yeah. the master comes and finds this unfaithful and foolish servant yeah. um, doing whatever he was doing. Uh, we see a very, very severe punishment given yeah. to him. Mm. First of all, he's cut into pieces. Yeah. But again, there's something interesting that Jesus says, and assigned a place, uh, a place with the unbelievers. Yeah. Um, seemingly showing us that, by the way, um, where were you part of this world? You were never you part, were of, never uh, part of this. Of God. And you are, though you were a manager, yes, um, for a long time, yeah. you could be assigned to unbelievers, which, unbelievers. which is a very, very shocking yeah. and striking um, reflection, yeah. which actually calls the managers or anyone Not else. Not to be comfortable or think that yeah, they have a children. To always um, evaluate yes. um, their, their, their faith and yes. to always reflect on their daily um, work yeah. and doctrine closely. Yeah. Uh, but also what we see is that there is... An, uh, um, a punishment given to arrogant disobedience. Yes. That the manager knew the, what he was expected, what he was expected to, do. to do, but he fails yeah. to do it. But again, we see the ignorant disobedience, yes. whereby, um, verses 14, but the one who does not know and does things deserving punishment will be beaten with few blows. Yeah. So, in keeping with your ignorance, yes. you um, will still receive a beating. You will still receive a beating, showing us that the ignorance is no excuse. Yes. Um, because God has, in one way or another, caused you as a servant to know what you expected to do. Yeah. At the end of the day, Romans 1 um, would remind us that even nature will condemn us. Yes. Uh, so we, we, you have no excuse to say, 
that you did not know what yeah. was expected what was expected of, of you. you. That yeah. uh, that ignorance is no yeah. excuse at all. Yeah, it's uh, no. Yeah. And and what we see, we see the righteous judgment of the master. Yeah. That because you knew and you didn't do what you, what what was expected of you, you'll experience much blows. Yes. It's like a parent. <laughs> yeah. But you. I told you precisely. Don't do A B C D. Yes. And you're beaten for that. Yeah. And then you're found. You're found doing something wrong. That if I leave you alone, be told. You will still be beaten. Yes, you will still be But much grace will be extended yes. to some extent yes. because of your ignorance. Yeah. But ultimately, everyone receives punishment. Everyone receives the punishment. I, I, I yeah. like what you, what you said there, mm. especially about uh, this manager mm. who decides and says to himself, yeah. well, my master has been gone a long time. I mm. can do whatever, whatever I want with his mm. household. And interesting that one of the guys who was sitting there, mm. and you know, pastors will get uh, some sense of confidence that, mm. CC, we belong. Mm. Yeah, these others are the ones who are struggling to mm. get into the kingdom. But Mimi, I'm a pastor. Honestly, mm. yeah. <laughs> and I think it's a stern warning for us yeah. that we can also mm. lie to ourselves that we are part of the household of God yeah. because we have been made managers. Mm. Yet, when Christ comes, he actually yeah. throws us out and says, yeah. assign him a place among the unbelievers. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting that Judas... Uh, we were talking about yeah, this earlier. Yeah. Interesting that Judas was actually part of these of guys this who were listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yet, he is assigned a place among yeah. the unbelievers yeah. because he, his actions mm. are inconsistent yeah. with what a true believer mm. is. Mm. So you can be there comfortable, mimi in Funzanga Sunday school, mm. mimi in a, and you are thinking because you do those things yeah. of a manager, yeah. then you must be part of the house yeah. of God. Evaluate yourself. Mm. Think about your faith yeah. because you might actually just yeah. find yourself being excluded yeah. when the master when mm. the master returns. Yeah. So I think that is that is really profound mm. to see there. But an encouragement is yeah. for the faithful servant. Mm. Christ actually says yeah. he will put him in charge of many possessions. Of many possessions. Yeah. Actually says all his yeah. possessions. Yeah. So uh, my prayer is that we will mm. actually be found to yeah, be faithful, faithful and wise. For our faithful Amazing. and wise servants. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. So okay. we can dive so into the application. Uh, how yep. does these texts apply to <laughs> us? Applies to our everyday <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, I think we have already <laughs> talked about many of our applications here. Yeah. But perhaps you can speak specifically to mm. these guys who have been given the responsibility to feed others. Yeah. And uh, how, yeah. how that looks like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first of all, I mean, for those who have been, been given the um, the responsibility of feeding and teaching and apportioning God's word um, at a pro proper time to yep. servants. I mean, those pastors, teachers, mm. disciples, uh, parents, yep. Sunday school teachers, real group leaders. Yep. Um, may you be found faithful doing what God has called you to do. Yep. Um, and this is, a, this, is a, this is a call for you to watch your life and your yeah, doctrine closely, closely and mm. for you to walk the narrow path yep. of knowing that because much has been given mm. to you, much will be expected of you yeah. in regards to the kingdom of God yeah. that is here with us and the kingdom of God that is to come. Yeah. And again, also we see this applies to, I mean, everyone else. God yeah. has called us to be disciples. Yes. He has called us to go into the world and make disciples to be oh, the wow. light yes. and salt mm. over, uh, over the world to yep. do good works. Yep. That which you know that God has called you to do, do it. Do it. May God find you building the kingdom. The kingdom of God. When he comes, yeah. So that when he comes, he will say, You are a good and faithful manager over what I gave you. Yes. Because ultimately as we grow, God will give us opportunities, will give us yeah. responsibilities. Yeah. And as we latch onto those opportunities and those um, responsibilities given yeah. to us by God, God expects much of us. Yeah. And this should be an encouragement to you to know that God will give you the grace to continue doing what mm. he's given you, but it is your responsibility to, to stay the course. Yeah. 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 One of the things I you think you've mentioned there that is really profound, uh, for the teachers mm. uh, especially, what we see the, uh, the, the manager who, refi uh, who did not do what was right, mm. first he beat up the servants, mm. that yeah. you can actually intentionally mm. take advantage of mm. those that you've been given to yeah. shepherd. Yeah. And you are denying them what God has actually asked you to do. Mm. Feed my flock. Mm. A portion of food at proper time. Mm. And we can get uh, cocky sometimes. Mm. And uh, especially we pastors are notorious at this. And uh, especially those who preach prosperity gospel. And mm. guys, 
God will actually come and call you to account. Mm. Because what you are doing, you are using the position mm. of authority God has given mm. you and the food that, so that you may take advantage of yourself. Mm. Getting drunk. That's mm. what the Bible yeah. says. Eating, drinking, yeah. and getting drunk. Mm. That you are actually using the authority wrongly mm. for your own advantage. Mm. And I think that is a great uh, yeah. rebuke for us here. Yeah. And then yeah. the issue of ignorance. Yeah. You can never claim before God that I did not know. Mm. How comes you did not know and the manual is here? Mm. That it is our responsibility. Whether you are a real group leader or a parent, you can never claim ignorance. Mm. God requires you to do A, B, C, D, and it is all written in here. Yeah. Yeah. Go and search the scriptures mm. so that on that day, even those few blows you will not receive mm. because you will know what the master mm. expects of you. Yeah. But many times we mm. will use that as, a, as an excuse. Ignorance yeah. is yeah. no excuse. Go and mm. get and get the knowledge mm. that, you actually, yeah. uh, that you actually need. Yeah. yeah, for you who has been given more responsibility, more will be asked from you. If you are a teacher, be careful. You will actually be asked to account mm. more than anyone else. Mm. Uh, and I think that's a stern warning to Kina Peter here yeah. and to ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Wow. I'm really grateful that we have uh, come to the end of this uh, series of parables. Guys, I'm really thankful for those who have been watching the, the, uh, these parables. And I pray mm -hmm. that God will continue to do his work of sanctifying us and growing us uh, in the likeness of Christ through these teachings. Uh, see you uh, perhaps in two weeks' time when we actually do uh, another series or different uh, from this one. We are thankful, thankful for your time. Uh, subscribe and look out for our next time.